Bonjour, in this episode, I show you how to go from this to this. Let's add some drama. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 44 of my photography, Lightroom, and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Ramelli, and I am a French photographe living in Paris, France. Welcome to this podcast. Last week, I showed you a trick on Photoshop CS6 to create and to fake long exposure when you take waterfalls, you take several shots of a waterfall and then you use a special stack mode in Photoshop and you can fake a long exposure look. That's the final result. This week, I will give you an example. I got up, I was in Jerusalem last week and got up very early with my wife to take a photo of the Damas Gate. This is the original photo and it was a boring sky. We got up so early, we walked, we were tired, and we got nothing. So, thanks to Photoshop, I'm taking these clouds taken from an early morning, but in Paris, and I get this result. I, will I wanna show you some little tricks to fake completely a photo and add some amazing drama. So come and join me. Okay, so for this week's podcast, I had this idea to show you how I did a very dramatic photo of uh, this uh, Damas Gate in uh, Jerusalem, Israel. The whole idea is that I got up at five in the morning to try to take this gate, beautiful gate from Jerusalem, and boy, the sky was boring. What I was hoping for is to have this sky. This is a sky that I took in Paris, really at five o'clock in the morning, but not the same day. So I'm gonna cheat and try to make a piece of art with mixing this uh, both uh, uh, this guy and that photo. So first, let's do a bit of uh, Lightroom. I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna open up the shadows. I'm not gonna bring down the highlights because I want the photo to be very bright. That's very important for this to work, is the photo needs to be very bright. Then I'm gonna add some clarity a little bit and uh, no vibrance, nothing else. That's about it. Then I'm gonna right click, take both of this. Um, oh, you know what, this one, I'm gonna desaturate this one completely. I'm gonna go black and white on it, okay. Then I'm gonna take this photo and this photo and right click, edit, open as layers in Photoshop. The whole idea is I want one Photoshop file and two layers, one with the damas gate and the other one with the clouds, okay? And uh, I'll show you what we do from there on. So, the clouds are on top, so I'm gonna turn off the layers visibility. I'm gonna go on the bottom. I'm going to duplicate the bottom layer because I want to take care of some of the boys here. Here we have some soldiers there that I'm going to keep, but this man, this and this I want to take out. So I prefer to do it when there's a lot of texture, you know, like square and everything to take just a stem tool. So stem tool, here we go. And um, yeah, about this size is cool. I'm going to press the option key and uh, click here. And then I'm going to go here and just I go up and down. I drop, I stop, uh, uh, I take my finger off the mouse and up and down, okay? And so I add a little bit of plant, but that's fine. Uh, for this guy, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take um, here, I'm gonna take this. You see here, there is a little bar and there is a bar there. So I'm gonna take this bar. So I have the option key and I'm clicking here and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go up. Oh, not so much up. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go like this, and I let go my finger, and I go again, I let go my finger, okay. And then for the top of, uh, of, of his body, I'm gonna click the Alt key here, and then go here, and then go just down a little bit, drop, um, get my finger off the mouse, I'm sorry. And then same thing here, I'm gonna go here, up and down, my finger off, up and down, my finger off, up and down. Okay, well, something a bit weird here. See, let's see if I can fix that. Okay, well, it's a bit weird, but you know what? It's not gonna be a big deal because this is gonna be very, very dark. So let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, I did. Okay, this, the soldiers I'm gonna leave on. I just wanted to, to take these guys out. Okay, now that I clean up a bit the photo, I'm gonna turn on, oh, I'm gonna merge these two layer by selecting them and pressing Command E. And then I put this layer on and um, I'm gonna put it in 
multiply, multiply. And what multiply is going to do, and I love multiply for that, is that when you have a very uh, clear, very bright photo with lots of white, anything that is white is going to become transparent. And so it gets totally mixed up in the photo. Look, you know, let's say there's no need to do any um, uh, selections or extractions. Now, it's a bit too much. So as it is a bit too much, I mean, I'm going, to be honest, I'm going to go for a too much effect. But I like it, you know. Uh, it's just uh, the flavor of the day. So I'm going to add a mask, a white mask. Take a brush, take a little brush. And this brush, I'm going to put uh, black as a foreground color. Opacity around, yeah, a bit below 20, like 18%. And I'm just going to paint on the walls to... You know, we can see the clouds a bit too much on the structure, you know. The clouds are a bit too much on the structure. I don't like that. Okay. Um, something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Now, a little trick I want to show you is that if you take too much out, like, like for example, say, oh, I took too much out. Make sure the property window is on. If not, go here, properties. And then you can click on the mask and you can just lower the density of the mask. See how this is gray here? on the mask how it's gray brushes brush strokes if i go down they're going to go from a dark gray to a light gray and it's going to bring the texture back again and if you think that there is too much brush stroke you can use the other uh, slider which is the feathering you can feather your brush strokes which i don't need here okay so that's uh, one first step it's a small step for a photo but a big one i'm sorry i'm just missing you around okay so now i've uh I have that done. I'm gonna go and um, add a black and white adjustment layer, black and white. I want the whole photo to be black and white, but we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna go and add um, a gradient map. Now gradient map has always been around in Photoshop, but there is some new colors that came out, which I love, which is all this ones here, uh, these presets. And if you don't have them, you can load them. And they are, oops, no, the presets. You can get them added here. Uh, I think this photographic toning. Okay, that's the ones. They are new and I love them. Check them out. When you click on photographic toning, it gives a total different feel to a photo. Like, uh, you know, some, some is really weird and some is not weird. Uh, I just show you around a little bit. But this is the one that I want. This is the one that I like. Okay. Why do I like this one? Because it's it's warm in the highlights and it's uh, cold it's uh, cold in the dark li dark li lights the shadows. Okay, so that's before the gradient map. That's after. I'm gonna lower the opacity because I think it's too much. I just you know around fifty percent. I just want to give a little bit of that of that touch, you know. And I'm not done. I'm not done. It's still very contrasty. It's it. I mean, it's very dramatic. But I want to add more contrast to this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click and make a new layer call this dodge and burn you know the rule now i dodge and burn everything i dodge and burn my dog i dodge and burn everything that i find uh, so to dodge and burn you create an empty layer you put this into overlay and take a brush take the brush okay and um put yeah 18 percent black color as the foreground to start with and i'm just gonna darken some part of the photo to make it even more dramatic i know i'm crazy but that's, that's the fun of life, you know. You can do whatever you want in Photoshop, you're free. There is no Photoshop police who's gonna arrest me for too much retouching, nope. I might get some bad comments on YouTube, but that's as bad as it gets. Okay, it's a bit too much, so I'm gonna lower the opacity and I'm gonna create a new empty layer. Now, why do I create an, a new empty layer? Is actually, I, when, I, when there is a dodge and burning effect that I like, I just leave it there, I create a new empty layer, I put it into overlay mode, and I just keep on dodging and burning. That's how I rock. Okay, now I'm gonna press X for the white, and I just wanna add even more lights here to the front. Okay, kind of like maybe here a little bit, just to drag the attention of the viewer on the front. Okay, that's a bit too much, I'm gonna lower the opacity a bit, like 60%, that's cool. Create a new layer, okay, um, overlay. Now, uh, I want to add some drama in the sky here. So I'm going to add some whites a bit in the clouds to make them even more crazy. I know it's crazy, but that's how it is. It is crazy. Okay. So now we've got really some crazy stuff. I'm going to take all the dodge and burn and Command J 
like George to put them into a group. And if you think it's too much, you can just, which it is, I'm going to lower the overall opacity. Okay. Uh, now this is non-destructive. I can even lower the opacity of the clouds if I think it's too much, you know. Uh, no, but I'm going to leave it how it is. I really want, I like this dramatic effect. Um, okay. And last but not least, I want to make a, a, a vignette effect, but I want to make it uh, my way. And for this, I'm going to create a new layer by command alt shift e okay and i'm going to put this layer into multiply mode and the, the reason why i use this technique i could just you know put this photo back in lightroom and do the vignetting but i want to sell the effect that the clouds are really there and so for this i make uh, i use the the marquee tool and i make sure that you know i'm a bit on the on the gate and on the sky which is not the case here so you can always go to select transform selection yeah i just want to make sure that my vignette effect you see anything which is going to be outside of the section is going to be very dark and anything inside is going to be very light so that's my selection now i need to feather the selection before i delete it so i go to select modify feather 400 pixel is a good point to start and then i press the delete key okay now i've got some heavy heavy duty vignetting a lot too much so as anything in photoshop you can just lower the opacity yeah it's 50 percent you know but it just gets the eyes to the gate you know i wanted to give an old feeling to this gate you know and uh, yeah i love the effect you might hate it and it's your right but i love it okay so then i'm just going to press command w and just get this back into lightroom if you i just want to show you that if you go to my website and you go to fertilesearch.com and you click on English tutorial, you can purchase uh, a lot of tutorials. And if you want to see, I've got about 11 tutorials, mostly on, uh, on Lightroom or on Photoshop. If you want to see what, some, what, uh, what um, one of the courses is doing, you just click on it. Like for example, this one, uh, Lightroom for travel retouching, and you will see all the before and after of each project. So you can get an idea of what they do. And the best is to purchase the, uh, the packages. For example, all the Lightroom training is $25 instead of 30. All the Photoshop training is $40 instead of 50. And if you buy everything, and I would love you forever for that, it's $63 instead of 90, and you get like 15 hours of training, dozens and dozens of the raw files. I mean, everything that I know is in there. And uh, it really, if you like the free stuff, buying the paid stuff helps me finance the free stuff. So, you know, that's the how it works. Thank you very much, guys, for being there, and I'll see you back in the studio. Okay, mesdames et messieurs, I hope you liked that tutorial. I think it's fun what you can do with Photoshop. Uh, if this is the first time you're seeing this podcast, if you want to get it for free weekly, all you have to do is subscribe. And for this, you can just press this button right here, and you can subscribe, and you will get an email every time I put out a podcast, which is every Monday or Tuesday. If you do like this podcast, please share it on your social network and write me a little mail. This is my email and I will give you the raw file that I use to create that drama. I'll give you the damask gate photo, the raw file, and I'll give you the texture of the sky of the clouds so you can do the same result. And just to thank you for forwarding this to all your friends. Thank you very much for your help and I'll see you next week.